Monsieur Savard. Mr. Savard Tremblay. Madam Chair, the aeronautic industry, industry in Quebec is strategic, but it's in trouble. I think everyone agree with that. Bombardier is almost at a dangerous level. It could be bought over because of the insufficient Invest Canada, Investment Canada Act. There are thousands of jobs in Quebec at stake. There are concerns both within the industry and in various members of the civil society. How come the government did act, didn't act as quickly as it did for the automotive industry or the oil industry at almost at any time? The Honourable Minister. Madam Speaker, unfortunately, I do not agree with my colleague because our government does understand the importance of the aerospace industry. That's why we've invested in it since 2015. Our government understands the import importance of investing in R&D. And this investment will improve the situation for aerospace workers. And we're going to continue to work every day to improve the situation for that sector. Mr. Savard Tremblay. What I've heard is that they're heading in that direction. That's encouraging. But with respect to the good work this government keeps boasting about, the government of Quebec is concerned. We haven't reached the same verdict. Even the industry itself sent a letter last week to the prime minister calling him on this issue. In terms of the Quebec Institute, which was confronted by the Conference Board of Canada, uh, they published a study that specifically mentioned Ottawa's inaction in this respect. So what concrete action is coming up, the Honourable Minister? Madam Speaker, unfortunately, once again, I don't agree with my colleague because we have invested a lot of money in the aerospace sector since 2015. Our position is very clear. We are going to continue to work with the Quebec government, with the sector, but our position is clear. We're going to continue to invest in the aerospace sector because it is very important for our workers. Mr. Savard Tremblay. Well, based on what I've understood, Canada is roughly the only country with an aerospace industry that has no specific policy for this sector. And based on what I've understood, with some imagination from the minister's answer, is that there'll be no more money. But the threshold in the Bombardier affair in Quebec says that we shouldn't be giving money to companies without strings. They want the money to go to workers and not just to executives. But is there a ceiling in terms of payments that executives can receive? Are, are there any conditions that could be related to uh, job staying in Canada, and will there be conditions with this funding? And when I asked about this, I was told that conditions are important. What are these conditions that will come with the concrete action that's coming that we still don't know about? The Honourable Minister. Madame la our position is very clear. We're going to continue to invest in the aerospace sector because it's very important for our economy, for the future, and for our workers. And this is why we are going to continue to work with the Quebec government and with the industry. And I am certain that our strategy will improve the situation. Unfortunately, in the short term, we're going to continue to see issues, but I'm certain that in the future, in the longer term, we will have 
a very robust sector, and it's essential for our economy, and notably for workers. Mr. Richards. <laughs> well, the tourism industry in Canada supports one out of every 11 jobs. It's actually Canada's fifth largest sector, and it's responsible for 2% of our GDP. Now, without government action to support the industry, 61,000 tourism businesses, which is a, over 50% of all tourism businesses, will fail. And over a million and a half Canadians will lose their jobs as a result. Now, despite this, and despite the Prime Minister saying well over a month ago that there was going to be a specific package for tourism, the Tourism Minister has been simply pointing towards measures that are existing measures and haven't been sufficient to help the industry. So will the government commit today to sufficient measures that will actually help the tourism sector? Honourable Minister. Thank you to my colleague for his important uh, question. I 